More history. You're four and one, best record ever. Yeah. No matter what happens, you got the best record ever. You've been in one. You got a chance to win one, and you almost had this one put away without making it interesting for once. Um, the call on Munger. The call for Munger to go to go five versus three. Well, you know he had a uh, he had a great last game, and I wanted to ride that momentum. It being the plan of the game, having four hits, I wanted to ride that out and see uh, see how much he could give us. And after the after the third. You know, he started struggling a little bit, but overall he did fantastic. Kept guys off balance, threw strikes, first pitch strikes. Uh, I mean, what did he have? Two hits? Give him two hits? He did fantastic. The um, little bit of struggles defensively, which you've seen in the past, that yeah. can lead to some ugly games with this squad, but they calmed down enough to get the win. Yeah. What, what did you say to them, and then what did you say to Alverson when you came out in the, oh, the I seventh? I just said, guys, relax. You know, who, who wants the ball? Who's going to make the next play? Because you guys have all been there all year. Don't Both of those errors are from guys in double play situations looking at the base before they're catching the ball. So just catch first, you know, throw to the base, get the out, relax, because you guys are going to do it. So. And then you went out. Uh, you didn't send your pitching coach out to, to talk to Alverson. You went out. Yeah. Um, I know you had a game of pep talk before a game-winning hit. What'd you tell him on the pep on the, on the conversation before I, I the? I was telling him not to show off the umpire because it seems like man, it seems like they're against us. I don't know. Here. I don't think they like the Cinderella story. You can you can quote me on that. <laughs> um, no, I said don't show them up because that doesn't help the situation. Let me handle it. Let me look like the jerk, you know, because you're not going to get calls like that. And just rear back and throw because they're not going to touch you. So, big win upon big win upon big win. Um, what, what's tonight? What's seven o'clock tonight mean? Yeah, I mean? It's huge. I mean, we're one game away from being world champions, and that was our goal in the beginning. Whether it sounded unfeasible or not, I mean, I'm sure it did to them. You know, but they always had they always had belief and to get them in this situation. And you know, great. I told them, great moments come from great opportunity, and then this is the opportunity of a lifetime right here. And uh, we can't be satisfied. We got to go for the win.